Well, hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own OSU bitmap. It's just going to be the very basics on setting up the bitmap because of course you need to set it up first before you can actually make it. So I'm diving straight in. OSU menu, go to the edit tab. Click the Windows button to open up the Windows or Mac. I don't know what the heck you do. Just go to the menu, <laughs> go to your music folder and find the song you want to map. Click and drag it into OSU. And there it is. Now you go ahead and click on it. And you will be brought to a page like this. So in the artist, you can obviously type in the artist, the title of the song, the difficulty. You can um, choose whichever one you want to do. If you want to make an easy map, go for it. I'm just going to go on easy then. You can make multiple difficulties later on. So you're not limited to one, obviously. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. If you want to make an insane one later on, you can do that. So if the song is from a game or TV series or something, you can put it in the source box here. And then your tags, um, any words that can define your song. So for example, if it's dubstep or like hip hop, then you can put it in the tags box here. Onto the difficulty tab. This is where you'll set your difficulty. All these sliders correspond to the levels of difficulty. Obviously, to the left is easy, to the right it's more difficult. Under each one there is an explanation, but I'll just go through it really quickly for you. HP drain rate is the rate of which the HP bar at the top of your screen will go down. Um, so this corresponds to the rate of which it goes down. Circle size, that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. It's the size of the circles. Uh, the approach rate, the speed at which object, uh, objects appear. So if you have a very slow approach rate, it would look something like this. The approach circle will be really slow. And then you have a very fast approach circle and the object appears really quickly. And now the overall difficulty is the harshness of the hit window. So the hit window is shown at the bottom of the screen here. So the harshness of this hit window is basically the margin of error you can have. So as you can see here on an easier difficulty, the margin for error is much larger. And here on a harder difficulty, the margin for error is smaller. Onto the audio tab. Personally, I prefer to keep it on soft. I don't really like hearing the beats that much. But you can play around with this and um, play around with the sounds. See which one you like. and One that fits your beat map as well. Okay, onto the colors tab here. Now I wouldn't mess with this, to be honest, unless unless you want to, you can if you want to. Of course you want to set up a background image, and when you do, you should, uh, the colours should correspond with the background image. For aesthetic reasons and for gameplay reasons, um, it just makes sense that the colours match the background image. Now onto the countdown, uh, I mean the design tab, you have your countdown which you can enable. It's, it's totally up to you if you want to enable your countdown or not. Now your toggles, widescreen support, I would select that on. Display storyboard in front of combo fire. You should have that on as well. Display epilepsy warning. So if you have, if you put in the background video instead of an image, um, you can do both, but if you have an, if you have a video and there's a very, you know, epilepsy stuff in it, a lot of flashing, then you definitely should tick that. And your letterboxing during breaks, just have that on as well. So for skinning, I have a custom skin, but um, preferably you should just keep it on this setting, user's preference. So other people, if they have other custom skins, they can play with their own skins. Now your advanced tab, very, very last tab, uh, stacking leniency. So. If notes are placed in the same place, OSU will automatically stack them as shown in the video here. That is basically what stacking is. If you have the slider on rarely stack, then the notes will not stack and instead will be like this. So it is entirely up to you if you want your notes to stack or not. If you want them to stack, then put the slider value to always stack and vice versa. And now mode specific, if you are making, uh, well, if you're making an OSU, uh, the the regular OSU mode map, then um, just have it on all. But if you're making a mode specific for Mania or Catch, obviously selecting the mode for that. 
And we are finished now. So you have successfully set up your bitmap. So the next episode, we'll, I'll show you how you time your bitmap properly. So yeah, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. It's like that.